ladies and gentlemen, John McGregor from the 25th anniversary of World Expo 88 People's Committee and Foundation Expo 88 here reporting from the sunny Gold Coast. It's uh, Monday morning, the 10th of September 2012. We've got the 25th anniversary of World Expo 88 coming up in just over six months' time. And we're continuing our special series of videos on some of the artworks and people behind World Expo 88. We have with us here again Mr. John Walsh, who is gallery manager for the Gold Coast City Council Art Gallery, and also Mr. Jeff Topping from the website myexpo88.info. And we're here with one of the works from World Expo 88 by Japanese sculptor Fumio Nishimura. And uh, this is actually one of four works which were loaned especially to World Expo 88. Can you tell us a bit about the work, Mr. Walsh? Uh, what, what is it called for a start? Uh, well, it's called a silent prayer, um, and I, I believe it's uh, it was made in response, or um, as a as a memorial, as a, an understanding of um, people who were who were suffered at the hands of the Hiroshima bombing. Right. Um, it's it's a reminder for future generations as well, um, and it has it has a, a certain gravitas about it. Mm. Firstly, through its material, obviously being granite, granite it's granite, very right. very heavy. But it also has a simple, um, simple gesture, a simple form to, to simply. It's very comp, comp, um, meditative, um, and it's a, a work that uh, I think suggests that we should think very seriously about how we conduct ourselves in the world. Um, and it's by Fumio Nishimura, as you said. I I think he was one of the youngest um, up and coming sort of sculptors to right. participate in World Expo. Um, I. Uh, uh, as you said, it was uh, one of four, and uh, we're very fortunate to have it here on the Gold Coast. It was acquired from from Expo uh, by the company that uh, developed Australia Fair Shopping Centre, right? Um, and they gave it to us on loan, and eventually um, gave it to us outright. So we're fortunate because we would never be able to represent international sculptures like this in the sculpture park with our own resources. So we're very fortunate in that regard. Right, and from my understanding, this is a work, this is a work in fact, from the 80s, from 1985, um, from Seiho Gallery in Tokyo. And that's where the other uh, three works also were especially loaned from, from Seiho Gallery in Tokyo. And the other actual, two, two of those works were acquired at the end of the exposition. The other work being Memories of Wind, um, also made of granite. Uh, all four works are made of granite, by the way. And the other work, Memories of Wind, is located in King Edward Park in Brisbane City. Um, and also, thank you very much, Mr. Walsh, for that brief introduction into A Silent Prayer. Um, now, Jeff, now you have a website, uh, myexpo88.info. Uh, when did you start that? Uh, that website was created before the days of social media, where these days people can easily plonk um, you know, memories and, and photographs free onto, um, you know, for the world to see. Um, I started that page probably five, six years ago at least um, in response to um, a question from my niece when she saw um, an Expo banner hanging up on the staircase at home which had Expo 88. She said, Uncle Jeff, what's an Expo 88? Right. So it's really interesting that, <clears throat> of course, and unless you're old enough to remember it, you really have no idea what Expo 88 was. And while it might be a distant memory for, for some of us now, having artwork like this around is fantastic because it actually is a lasting memory, but it also gives younger generations some real touchable um, material from Expo. And you've got several pages on that website, uh, and the website is largely comprised of your own personal photographs, is that right? That's right, and that's how I came up with the name My Expo 88. Um, right. The, the photographs were taken, a lot of them were taken at night. Um, as a building designer, I actually found um, that the, the Expo site took on a whole different appeal at night. Um, it was a, a, a mystical place. The, the lighting was nothing we've seen since. Um, now, I've, I probably have a photo of this this piece on my site. If not, I... Because you I, have an art page I have well, an art page, you? I have an art page, I have other photos that I still haven't uploaded yet. Um, you've inspired me to, to actually <laughs> update it a bit and, and um, add to it. And um, you know, no better time than the 25th anniversary of World Expo, Expo 88 to do that, of course. Um, but you know, a, a piece of art can take on a whole different feeling at night in a, in a landscape setting. At Expo, yeah. we had magnificent um, planted areas where pieces of art um, were on display. And you know, sometimes you can only 
only sort of see them from one or two angles. Um, here today we can walk around it and, and take, it, take it in a different way. Yes, well that's, that's absolutely correct and some of you may know that the art collection of Port Expo 88 actually was the first million dollar uh, art collection and works over 100 works from all over the world and we have some of them right here in the Gold Coast. So that's all from Mr Jeff Topping, myexpo88.info, Mr John Walsh, uh, Gallery Manager of Gold Coast City Council Art Gallery and John McGregor from Foundation Expo 88 in the 25th Anniversary People's Committee. Please continue to look at our subsequent videos and we'll see you again soon. Bye.